All right, guys, AB Watchman here. So um, we just got done having an interview with the Channel 11 News. And sure enough, Channel 11, they tell us that the hospital, Antelope Valley Hospital, they're saying that we set this whole thing up. Now, I'm going to share the interview we did film, Doug's interview and my interview. Uh, Doug actually shared, he filmed my interview on a live stream. So I'm going to download his live stream and I'm going to put that one up on here as well. We're going to see how much Channel 11 is going to edit out and how much they're going to try to make us look like the dirt bags, the foul ones. Like I told the Channel 11 news when she told me that the hospital is saying that you guys staged this. I told her, well, then if we staged it, then that means they staged it as well. The camera doesn't lie. They didn't know that we had a part two to the video. They didn't know that I had the video of them standing over her, abandoning her in the parking lot. Yo, guys, I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I know I'm um, no thanks, Doug. He appreciates you guys as well. We got to get this out there, guys. We need to spread this video everywhere. Make this video go viral. We need to keep the pressure coming to Antelope Valley Hospital. From what I understand, they have already removed their Facebook account and they have already cleaned Google uh, reviews. I didn't even know a person could do that, but I they did it. So guys, you know what? I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Much freaking love and respect to every one of you guys. And I really hope that you know, if you guys see someone doing uh, what they did to that girl last night, that you guys would pull out your cameras and record them. That's right, you guys. Be a leader, not a follower. Grab a camera. Absolutely. So like I was saying, guys, I'm going to post that video now of Doug's interview. And then I'm going to go to his channel and grab the live stream that he did of my interview and we're gonna connect that into one here on this video. You guys, we appreciate you. Much love and respect. And here you guys go. Wheelchair, she had a spit mask on. Um, she was being held and restrained in the chair. Um, she said she was being choked as well, but it looked apparent that she was being choked. And, and then they just tipped her over and uh, she patiently walked off. Now, uh, you know, in the video, there are several people that approach you. Uh, what was going on with the, I guess, they were hospital workers? Uh, we had patrons, hospital workers, security, sheriffs, we had a police helicopter around the top of the hospital. Um, it, it was just, it was an amazing thing to see actually community people there seeing the voice be told by us and somebody's voice that would never have been heard without us being there in our camera. What happened to the patient uh, after this or during this? Did uh, you find out who he was or what happened? Um, well, my friend Steve, maybe watch me, uh, he actually knows her, her boyfriend yeah, from years and years ago. Um, he didn't realize who she was at first, um, but when he walked up to find out what was going on, he apparently saw her live stream, um, he got to the hospital and uh, and uh, she, she was, she was by, the time she, by the time he got there, she was okay, she was able to talk, she was able to walk. Thing that they could have done immediately for her instead of letting her be in the thing she was and dumping her out. But did she say why they dumped her out? You know, I don't really know anything about her past. She didn't really get into that. Um, my business really isn't what her past is, it's what today was and what yesterday was, and uh, her story being hurt and um, something that's not going to happen ever again here. And, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to start voicing what happened to them here at this hospital in the previous times. Now, What's been going on at this hospital? Tell us, uh, you know, some of the stories you've been hearing and uh, what led you up here. Well, I'd like to uh, introduce you guys to Steve, if you don't mind. Uh, Steve could give you a better uh, acknowledgement of, of why we were here for a follow-up. I'm simply a man with a camera with him, private press, and uh, and and if it wasn't for him uh, having me out and us coming here, then you know, it it, it just God God sent. Doug, what do you want to happen next? What do you what do you want people to take away from this? I want people all across America to know that our health coverage and our health care is screwed up. There's nothing that we can do unless our voices are heard. Um, for Americans, you know, that's what's great about
about America. You can come here however you want. And uh, unfortunately, if you don't give someone a successful chance, you'll be dumped out and, uh, and abandoned as a person. It's cost nothing to be a good person. Now, Doug, the hospital said that you staged the video. What is your reaction to that? This is the first I'm hearing of the stage uh, the video. Uh, we never stage anything like this. Um, I'm emotionally torn up still. Um, changed my life. The hospital also says that uh, your videos uh, sort of stir up emotion that they believe you instigate uh, problems. What would your comment be back to the hospital? My comment to the hospital is they better, better, uh, better, better flip their staff real quick. Better retrain their staff and make sure that their staff is is someone that's working for the public and not servicing themselves. And, and, and to take every life and every person's life, no matter what they do, no matter who they are, the same. So, uh, for them saying that you stayed, that that's just... That's them trying to cover their own butts. Um, that's them trying to save a lot of... Camera them. doesn't lie. Uh, I believe that they just made this lady a millionaire overnight, I believe. Um, and she deserves every cent she got. And she, she gets. Because, um, to be honest, that's going to make a statement to this hospital and other hospitals that malpractice and, and patient abandonment and these students will not go on it further, um, further be just, you know, shrugged off, you know, especially by security. I mean, what kind of security are they if it, they're not here to secure us, you know? They're just a person with a badge and a, and a, and a, and a, and a tag that means nothing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys getting our story out. Yes, Steve. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Steve, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys make videos? You make the videos together? You guys can make other videos together. Oh, this is your first video? Together. Oh. Hi, your name is Bob, please. Yeah, my name is Steve. I have a YouTube channel. June 26, 2019, there was a call that came over the scanner. I do uh, local activist stuff here in the area. And uh, a call came in over the scanner that they were wanting the sheriff's department up here immediately because of something that was going on here. So I came over here, and I filmed it, and there was a whole family out here that were upset saying that the hospital killed one of their loved ones. So I started filming it. Security guards here and they were saying get off the property, it's on property, and this and that. there was another news station that was up here as well. And this is uh, open to the public. The whole area, the whole parking area is open to the public. The public photography is not a crime as well. So on the 26th is uh, when that incident happened. So basically last night what I wanted to do was just come back over here and just see if they changed their way of thinking and how they felt about public photography. And that's the reason why we ended up here, and that's when we ended up catching on film what happened with the young lady last night. The hospital said they believe you staged this. No, what? how can we stage it? That means the security guards are on it? They believe that you staged the patient being stopped. What would your reaction be? You can't stage that. That means their own employees walked her out and dumped her underneath a, a truck with a mask over her head. So are they going to do it? safe in this facility and then go home. Who, I mean, who was supposed to be brought up to the parking lot and just be dumped over and abandoned? She was abandoned in the parking lot. Now, do you know anything else about this patient? How is she? Uh, I don't. Uh, from what I understand, well, last night when we were here, she actually came walking back out again. Just probably like an hour or so after they took her back in. And uh, she came walking out and she was still really shaken up. And uh, she was crying, and she made a report with the sheriff's department. And uh, the sheriff's department in Lancaster, they did a fantastic job last night. There was two deputies 
finished that off. Did a fantastic job. And, uh, but that's what I like to see. You know, highlight people that are doing good, good things, especially public officials. And, uh, that's it. What do you want to happen? Um, I would like to see a change happen. I would like to see people get treated fairly and not uh, sit here and have to be uh, treated a certain way just because of your color, your skin color, your tattoos, or the way you the way you live, the way you live, you know? But it happens all the time. You know, people all the time. I'm going to go ahead and cut that video there. So, unfortunately, um, no thanks. I don't think he knew my camera was sitting there. I don't know. But he stood in front of it. So, when he did that, I had to go to his live feed, get his live feed, and put it on the video. I tried to line it up. It's kind of hard to hear, guys. Channel 11 News, they were supposed to air this story. It looks like they're not going to do it. And um, I have a feeling that they're going to all try to cover this story up. They're already trying to do it, guys. We have to, as a community, keep this story going. Share it on every platform. Facebook, Twitter. I don't know exactly how Twitter works, but Instagram and YouTube. Right here, guys. we got to share this story over and over and over and show channel 11 show channel 5 and all these other news media outlets that we don't need them we really don't it's all an illusion in your head oh here look at me i got a little oh i got a little card that says valley press on it ha oh, ha ha come on man it's all an illusion we got the constitution baby Good old red, white, and blue. Anyways, guys. Once again, we have to keep this story alive. And we're not keeping it alive for me. We're not keeping it alive for um no thanks. This is bigger than every one of us in this movement. So we can't just say, well, um no thanks is the one that did this video. Oh, A.V. Watchman is the one that did this video. No, we all did this video as one. As one. We're all one community. And it's time for all of us to come together as one. Not separated, not divided, but one. Antelope Valley Hospital, they are already trying to make up stories to try to cover their tracks. Oh, they set us up. Oh, I guess we made you walk her out there and drop her and abandon her right behind a truck. And then you guys just walked away and took off. You know what, guys? It's scandalous and it's stupid. How people could sit here and even think something like that. Oh, it's staged. Oh, it's set up. That means we had the security guards in on it. We had the director of the hospital in on it. And we had the charge nurse in on it. Right? That means everybody was involved. No. They did this on their own. And it's time for them to man up or woman up and admit to what they did. It's that simple. You know what? 
even though you guys did, I'm going to talk, talk directly to you, Antelope Valley Hospital. Even though you guys did what you did, the public would have a little bit more respect for you if you told the truth. If you said, you know what, I'm sorry. I did, we did wrong. We should I have did that. You guys are right. But you're not doing that. Instead, you're sitting here making excuses, which shows not just me, but everyone else here on YouTube that you're not remorseful. You don't give a damn. And that's all it is. It's, it's just that simple. All you care about is your little shitty reputations and your little shitty jobs. And you have traded your morals. You've traded your respect as a human being. You traded it all over for the mighty green dollar. And that's just what it comes down to. I don't care who gets mad. I don't care. I don't care if you get mad about it. I just don't. It's the truth. We're going to stick it out with that female that you guys mistreated. Yeah. All right, so look. They're messing with this lady. They just brought her out here in the parking lot, threw her on the floor. This is AB Hospital. They just threw her on the floor, dumped her out of the chair. They just dumped her out of the chair. AB Hospital just left her out here, guys. Hey, she needs help. Hey, she needs help. She needs help. Why would you guys bring her out here like this for? Hey, this is Antelope Valley Hospital. How scandalous and how heartless can you be? You just seen it for yourself. Again. How they just walk away after I told them three times. She needs help. They just want to get her out of there. Once they got her to the street, to the sidewalk, she's out of their responsibility, of their care. They didn't make it that far, though, because we showed up. I've said it before. How scandalous can you be? Come on now. I'm going to cut this video here, guys. And uh, let me know what you think down below. But I'm going to keep on following the story. And um, I think I'm going to be meeting up with them as well. Uh, the girl that this happened to. So her family's already reached out. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I got to go to sleep. Um, I love you guys, man. And you guys take care. Let me know what you think down below. Spread the word, guys. Keep on spreading it right here on YouTube. I think Facebook is already popping with it, like, everywhere. And people are still sharing it. So let's get it out right here, YouTube. Let's start getting it out there. All right, guys. Later.